Um, no, congratulations to the football club. It means a lot. It means a lot to the team. It means a lot to the supporters. It means a lot to 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 the management of this club who have invested a lot. Uh, we've fallen short a, a couple of years now. And now it's only one step further and um, and, and and the dream lives on. I'm sure it was very difficult. One of my biggest disadvantages is not having played professional football. So some of these things I have not lived, uh, and so I have huge expectations. But from a, from a psychological perspective, I can just imagine how difficult it is. So is, I have a reliance on 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 speaking to the players a lot. I I I have to speak. I have to feel. I have to sense where they are and and. and and what they think about the game and then uh, try to be emotionally very very sober so the feeling I got even in the first half before they scored was we were closer to scoring than they were uh, and I thought we were in control uh, the only disappointment of the first half is is the extra um, five minutes after they scored I think emotionally we were rattled a little bit and, and, and not to continue to play and play and play and, and then and then, uh, fortunately, we didn't bleed a lot around the box because if you bleed a lot around the box against the North African side, they get free kicks, they get uh, corner kicks, and then they they smell blood and they they go for the second, and that could have complicated issues. But after that, I think uh, we then stabilized ourselves again. We showed very good leadership. Uh, the, the senior players uh, took charge of the game again, and. Um, a very good goal uh, from Mshishi, and then uh, and then uh, at halftime we had to talk about a couple of things, uh, make a few tweaks in our build up, two or three steps from AB meant th two or three steps from 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 Modiba, then it meant two or three steps for from Bule, and then once you could get that, you've got very good rest defense, you've got very good possibilities for retaining possessions, and then you defend a lot better, so you don't defend with the ten coming to the half space, you actually then defend with the eight. That means you've got a bit more potency on transition because the 10 is a little bit higher. And then the strikers are, are closer to the center backs because with the back three, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, we received the compliments with a lot of humility and appreciation um, coming from a, a very experienced coach on the continent. Uh, but, uh, you know, like I always say with the pleasantries, is. Uh, it's, being, it's like being fed honey on a knife. And I don't have to go too far back to, to because a couple of weeks ago we lost to Stelis and we were the worst team. I was the worst coach. And so uh, uh, this is football. In football you have to take the good moments just like you take the bad moments. Not, not too high in the good moments, not too low in the bad moments. We have a 24-hour rule so we will enjoy the game, the feeling. And then rest, lots of sleep, lots of water. Tomorrow we come in, we clean the game from our system, and then we prepare for for a very difficult match against Amazulu. What do I think? Look, I've, 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 I must be honest. I've only watched them from uh, from a spectator's point uh, to keep abreast with the Champions League. So in the group stages, I watched. Uh, to try to watch all the opponents and try to have a feeling about all the opponents and where the level of the Champions League is. And then uh, I watched last night. I watched last night uh, as a, again as a spectator, not not really knowing which team we would play against. So I'm I'm watching both Simba and both Widat. So um, there was no zooming in on 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 what I feel. But the the, the work will will of course begin immediately as we get closer to it. Uh, because for now, it's, uh, a lot of work was done for this game. A lot of work is now going to be put into Amazulu. Uh, very, very difficult match, very difficult opponent. Uh, and will be very difficult in KZN, uh, for sure. Uh, so uh, we, have to, we have to work very hard with the preparations of that match. And then as we get closer to it, uh, I will have a little bit more of a overview. But difficult team, uh, have a very good historic his historic attachment to the Champions League, like Al Ahli, and uh, so we're going to have to play very, very well. But we'll jump that bridge as soon as we get to it.
I, I don't feel I don't feel it personally. But as I said, is is maybe I don't feel it because I I didn't live the situation. So I will rely a lot again. Once, I, as I said, uh, talking to the players, what their feelings are, and 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 and, and we'll try to prepare as as post, best as we possibly can. It's a, it's a difficult competition, very complicated. It's got it's got its own dynamics and and its own challenges. And uh, we have to prepare. If you if you don't prepare for what could happen in open play, you're going to you're going to get punished and suffer. If you don't prepare for what could happen on set pieces, you're going to get punished and suffer. So, so we we know we know that we try to keep the ball as much as we possibly can. We know what results in some of the transitions. We know that uh, with a lot of turnovers, you then invite uh, a little bit of these situations that a lot of these teams play for. So the starting point is, of course, take care of the ball and try to be try to be very aggressive in looking after it and, and having more passes so you can move the block a little bit more. So everything starts with what we do when we are in possession of the ball. And then, and then of course, then there's, there's counter-pressing and there's uh, recoveries. And, and then, of course, if you can't do that, then it's tactical fouls, but where and how close to the box and, and, and all these other things. But, um, okay, good. The feeling now is a feeling that the team is qualified for the semi-final. Positivity. Try to enjoy the moment uh, for the short period that we have and uh, try to work on, on, on some of the mistakes because they, of course, even when you win, there's a lot of mistakes and just uh, like when you, when you lose, they are more glaring to everybody. Uh, and so we go, we go step by step, day by day and try to get better. We are, ju- we are, we are just privileged enough to live this, this moment and so I don't think there will be a lot of uh, work to do mentally. I honestly, I know the group, I, I know the feeling, I know the type of human beings there are, and I really, I really doubt that we'll have to do long speeches, and, and even, even for this game. It was very, very little motivation, and um, just to make sure the tactics are right, but also to, to get the feel and to talk to them and, and have a lot of one-on-ones. We, that's what we will continue to do. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, but um, as I said, uh, we are very privileged. One that we work with very good football players, Masasi, and two, we 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 also understand how privileged we are to live in these moments because these moments don't come regularly. We know that because only last season we hoped and we worked and we wanted to be in the semi-finals, and now we are in the semi-finals. And, and we have to live this moment uh, and enjoy it as, as, as much as you, you can. And, and what better way than to, to live every single thing, every single day on the pitch in, in preparation and trying your level best to win. Uh, I spoke a little bit about Sipo before and I was, uh, again, it's, uh, I will reiterate, Sipo is at a very good level uh, and like many, many of our players at the moment, good performance is very stable. Uh, but like many of our players, we can get better and uh, will get better. Uh, we, I put a lot of pressure on them, I push uh, and Sipo, Sipo is one of the players that I think in this country we haven't seen the best of. He, is, 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 he knows that because I, I speak to him a lot about it. He's incredibly talented and a, and a very, very good person. Sipo is a good person, but as I said, he's... Uh, I could say the same about Peter, I could say the same about Mshishi, I could say the same about Ronza, I could uh, say the same about Debs, are good people, uh, Sela, uh, Kuliso Mudao, uh, Mudiba. Mudiba in the last two games, outstanding, uh, uh, outstanding, defensively, offensively, uh, build up phase, uh, Mudiba, excellent, excellent. So Sipo is in that space like many of our players. Um, Tapelo, <laughs> so funny, I said to Tapelo, he must check his, 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 his family tree. I said that this morning. I said to him, hey, you must check your family tree. I think your forefathers have some North African, uh, uh, some North African uh, roots or DNA because it, it's just, it's, he comes alive against the North Africans. He, uh, his best games against the North Africans, it just seems like it. So possibly uh, Tapelo has a, a great grandfather great 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 grandfather that comes from somewhere up north for sure <laughs>
without the goals, without the assists, for sure, Mshishi actually makes us play a lot better. He does. Offensively, he finds the spaces. He, today, he was so good behind uh, the defensive uh, midfielders uh, to provoke the centre-backs to jump out and to press. And when they don't press, he was able to turn and, and advance the attack. And he was... Um, but um, Mshishi is, 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 is one of the, the, the great football players we'll ever see in South Africa. And we are just fortunate. You, uh, you hear it. Honestly, the biggest testament... Um, of, of, of a great footballer is when the compliment comes from fellow footballers. And you, you hear how players speak about Mshishi. You hear when, when uh, even players that don't even play for Sundowns. For an example, uh, Bafana played in Liberia. Mayambela scored. You, you, you know what celebration Mayambela did? It's a 2016 Mshishi celebration. So you understand, you understand the influence that this guy has. Uh, on many generations, not just the current generation of Sundowns, but the previous and, and this aura and this ability. But over and above that, uh, again, another one that uh, is, 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 is a, a testament that to be a top football player, you've got to be a top human being. And that's what Mshishi is, is uh, before everything else that you see on the pitch and, and, and all these other things the amount of work that he does for, for the young ones and the support that he gives to, to, to the players and, and the confidence but when he's on the pitch that he gives to the team is incredible. And uh, congratulations to him, congratulations to, 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 to the players. And I, I make up, I, I know very well uh, the race that I'm running. I know uh, that's why I, I and the PSL coaches will tell you I'm probably the one that least spoken. I don't I, I really try to respect the fact that uh, a coach like Evan Hunt has won so much more than me, has played football at the highest level in this country and has coached so many, many teams. Uh, and they, they are coaches that have done incredible work, uh, achieved incredible things more than I have. And maybe are even way better than, than I could ever be. But uh, the fact that I, I and I know, I know my, um, what you call my handicaps, I know my handicaps. The first is that I'm young. The second is that I'm black. And the second is that I never played professional football. And so all these things I am very, very much aware of. And that's what makes me work three times as hard, three times as hard. Uh, because I know I've got to make up for, for so many uh, uh, handicaps. Um, but um, good, what helps is that I've also got a very good team with good players. I've got good support from, from the football club with, uh, with the management and everybody associated, the technical team and the entire club. And that makes a big, big, big difference in terms of making up. For for some of the the inhibitions, if you'd like to, for a better uh, term, and um, then everything else is is, uh, is is God's grace for sure. I can I can just imagine if it's difficult for us, how difficult it is for the players. But uh, but uh, let's 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 get on to it as we as we approach. You've seen it. it's going to be difficult for Amazulu. They've also had a coaching change now recently. Uh, but as I say, you know, the game belongs to the players. So who plays is the players. So how, where do we start with the profiling? Is the technical abilities of, of of the players and the individuals and what they bring to the to the to the to the group. And then, uh, of course, then uh, we look at the tactics and and some of the patterns that we can pick up. So, but. But we'll jump that bridge as we get to it, feet firmly planted on the ground and focused on the next big assignment, which is Amazuru. Good. Congratulations to the players. Congratulations to 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 the football club. Congratulations to the supporters. They were they were good today. They came in numbers and they supported us and. Uh, um, gave us a lot of energy in a in a in, in in a very difficult game against a very very good side with a good coach.